Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here. I am continuing the Dark Souls Remastered playthrough. In the last episode, at the very end, I realized that I accidentally used the Firekeeper Soul and did not revive the Firekeeper. So, since I had the cloud save right before I went into An Orlando, I just loaded that and <laughs> did the entire episode again. Actually performed a decent amount better. So we revived the firekeeper off screen. She's alive. And now we're going to head over here to talk to Siegmeier. So we can advance his storyline and get a very useful Titanite slab. How's it going, Keeper and Fago Dreams? I don't remember exactly where he is, but I know it's around here somewhere. And I also decided... I think I'm gonna head to the catacombs... before I do the painted world. Because... the Dark Moon Ring is in the catacombs. And if I get that first, then I'll be able to... kinda do... All the stuff I need to do in Anna Orlando at once. Hey Robbie, I'm glad you were able to catch the stream. And here's our friend Seedmeyer. Those pouches on his back always green? Or is that just a new touch for the remaster? Do you see his shield, like, formulate? I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I guess formulate is the wrong word. But, I'm sure but it kind of, like, started off really small and just got um, bigger until it was full size. But can you spare a few scraps of moss? Of course I can. Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This Knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Pierce shield! Well, our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> <laughs> the laughs in this game. The poison, like quicksand in there. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so... Now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna head to the catacomb. This is probably gonna be a really easy level since <laughs> we did quite a lot before we went over there. But I always find it easier to do the catacombs. Oh, got arrested here. After you warp, if you don't need to go there for something like um, on my faith builds I will run to the catacombs and do that so I can get the I think it's called a replenishment miracle I like to start off with that pretty good I'm also going to buy some homeward bones because I'm running low on those And I'm gonna see how much armors are. Hey, Lopi, what's going on? Oh, I didn't need that early. I can buy iron golem armor and smo armor now. Hey, Shemine. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he sells Master Key? And his armor is really expensive for some reason. Even though it's terrible. His helm cannot be upgraded. Only gives you 18 defense and weighs 
Whereas the Golem's Helm also can't be upgraded, but at least gives you 35 defense, even though it weighs a little more. 6.3. So that stuff is expensive. <laughs> well, that is a shame. But no I'm ever at Firelink, no. and I have some uh, spare souls. I'm gonna buy that stuff. And I think we should use a blunt weapon since we're going to fight a bunch of skeletons. What do we have? Probably just club. Yeah. I guess large club as well. It's 480. Versus 308. Versus, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try large club for a while. I haven't used that one yet. Hello there. I was expecting you. As promised, I will share my sorceries. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn <laughs> the basic framework. You see, it cannot be taught. Oh, do not fret. Life isn't all about sorcery. You will find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head. Okay. Wake up, beast. Someone just killed the gargoyles. Don't you have to actually hit him? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. <laughs> Not I forgot about like this. An old withering snake. I am is it I just want to feed you my extra armor I picked up. Thank you. Chosen. All right. Got to get my club back. It's like a lot of people died over here. Got him. <laughs> I don't expect to have too much trouble in this episode. That's the one thing that's bad about Dark Souls, because it's so non-linear that you can end up going to an area and just blow through it because you're at such a higher level than you really should be. Oh jeez! <laughs> that can make boss fights a lot lamer too. Get that lantern. I'm gonna try the regular club. Yeah, that's a one shot as well. <laughs> Gotta find those necromancers. It is quite dark in here. <laughs> oh man, this place is going to be way too easy. Pinwheel was always way too easy. Oh wow, we didn't kill him in one hit with an R2. I'm surprised. These guys are not going to respawn anymore. Jeez. <laughs> How did they all... I guess they were just following me and respawning while this guy was still alive. Looks 
like a wizard <laughs> with no shirt. Okay. How's it going, Tan of Kamatoes? Henny boy. Yeah, this game got a pretty negative reception. Um, the only people that really like it are people that like ganking <laughs> and like griefing. So far, anyways. I am yet to get to the main PvP area. So. I can't say for certain, but from what I've seen, the PvP is pretty awful in <laughs> Dark Souls 1. With all the backstabs and everything. Hey. Oh, there's another Necromancer over there. I want to get his Necromancer Lantern. So I'm going to put on the... Gold Snake. Oh, I'm fat rolling. <laughs> That's how I'll make this area harder. I'm going to fat roll. And I'll fight Pinwheel with the fat roll. I just hope I don't get invaded. I doubt I'll get invaded. Because I'm pretty sure most people will do this at a lower level than I am now. No, come back here! <laughs> Got him. No parry for him. LT is always texting me when I'm recording. I'm gonna turn my phone on vibrate for that very reason. No lantern. Oh jeez, what? <laughs> Where'd you come from? How's it going, Jacob? Those guys remind me of that uh, Star Wars Episode 3 meme of the Emperor. I think he says it's treason then. And <laughs> then he does like some crazy barrel roll attack. It's treason then. Actually, now I think of it, there was a PewDiePie video where he showed a clip of the skeleton doing that. It was in Dark Souls 3 though, but... Still Dark Souls. Nonetheless. <laughs> I'm trying to parry. Ow. Is this somewhere I haven't been? No, that's just the beginning. Okay. Oh, thanks, Tamin. I appreciate it. There is an item up there, though. this it? Yeah, because there are those broken stairs. Large soul of an English soldier. Oh, Patches is over here. Ah, good old times. Pat roll! Oh geez. Yeah. Where's the necromancer for this part, I wonder? Club. I 
<laughs> keep coming. Those backstep iframes the computer guys get. Soul of a proud knight. Yeah, this area is actually not too bad if I'm fat rolling and I don't have in a not an occult. What is it called? Divine. Then I don't have a divine look. Hey Krista Cruz, glad you like my stuff, man. Can't wait for that next FromSoft game. Some reason I don't think it's gonna be Armored Core, but I was hoping for Armored Core. I think it's either a new game or Bloodborne 2. God. <laughs> Jeez! That pyromancy though. So those guys should not be coming back now. And I still did not get any lanterns. I haven't gotten any drops, really. Hey, Javier. I know there's like a bonfire around here somewhere. I think, is that it down there? Can you jump to those stairs? So many options. We can go straight, we can go right, we can go back and dive on some stairs, we can go back and dive on a path that might lead to a bonfire. I don't remember which one is the most advantageous though. Oh, I think this breaks through the floor, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Maybe the floor will lead to the bonfire. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of bonfire, I'm ready to get to one. Grappling hooks? Bang. That'd be interesting. Oh man, <laughs> this takes me over here again. for this, which I believe to be a bonfire. Is this... Well, I think these are the steps I saw, so... That's both of those paths crossed off the list of options! Fire. Still can't level up. What if 
the Shadows Die Twice video was actually Armored Core. That's gonna be the biggest twist no one saw coming. Oh, where's Patches? Hmm. Hmm. You don't really get anything for interacting with him, I don't think, do you? He's definitely not there, though. I wonder if there's something you have to do to get him to spawn. Gosh. Forever since I played this game. Oh, jeez! <laughs> that guy almost killed me by killing himself. I don't think I can make that if I fat roll. So I'm gonna have to have up again. Wolf call. Alright. Now, we get the great scythe. Probably plop down over there. Um, there's a lever right there. But I'm gonna try to plop. See where the plop takes me. He's like in the floor. <laughs> Stupid skeletons. <laughs> treasure. Indeed. Well, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure there's treasure in there. Even though I don't remember what is there. Let's see if I could find a necromancer though. Oh. That's just the path from the bonfire, I guess. I'm gonna try to get these guys off the cliff so they won't keep respawning. Ah, shoot. I'm gonna probably knock his bones off. Yep. <laughs> he started respawning. Oh shoot, he started respawning on his way down in midair. And then I guess his foot was still on the bridge. So... <laughs> Anyways, I guess his foot was still on the bridge, so he respawned on the bridge again. No oh, man. Catacombs are confusing. Oh boy. It's a big one. Oh, one R2 gets him though. <laughs> and there's the Dark Moon Seance Ring, which we'll need for the Dark Moon Covenant. There's another pathway over here. Oh no. It's not hidden, it's just a hole in the wall. I like how in Bloodborne there was a little lantern you could put on your waist belt. I think Dark Souls would benefit from one of those. I'll put on that gold serpent ring. I just get him faded. Son of a bump. Let's see if I can hurry up and do this before the invader finds me. Give me your lantern. 
I did not get a lantern. Oh, there's the invader. And there's a skeleton. What's my best weapon for invader killing? I'm gonna go with the Dragon King. Don't wanna be fat rolling though. Whoa! And that's how you do that, apparently. Wow. Ah, uh, my favorite NPC from Souls is probably Paladin Leroy. Which makes me think I should probably summon him. For pinwheel. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was such an awesome smash. <laughs> smash to like one smash equals one dragon king <laughs> invader smash. <laughs> Good work, Rose. Hey, Ban Matthew. What's going on? No oh, LT. I didn't notice you were here. I'm assuming it was you that texted me, but I didn't answer it yet. Oh, this takes you all the way back here? Catacombs are confusing. What did you text me? <laughs> or should I be surprised and look at it later? When you say you have a job, does that mean you just got a job? If so, congratulations. Unless you hate it. In that case, I feel your pain. Let's see. Was that twop I just got? Yeah. I forgot about twop. Yeah, I know a lot of people aren't playing this, but... I haven't played it in so long, it's just... fun. The PvP is a little on the gross side, but... Twop really was never that much of an issue for me after they patched it. night. I imagine this area could be quite hard for some people, depending on when they come here, and if they have a divine weapon or not. Oh, there's that lever. I was waiting for something to happen, at least a sound, but nothing. And gosh. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I was gonna take off. <laughs> Uh Okay, just roll. Let's this up just in case. No.
That looked like I was pretty dang close to landing on that platform. It was like I slid off the top one <laughs> somehow. <laughs> that was weird. I got to where I was. Was it down here? I don't want to lose all that humanity and souls. Well, this is where I smashed that invader <laughs> with the Dragon King. This place is such a maze. It's like some catacombs or something. And this is the tranquil walk of peace. Leads you to the beginning, which maybe this is where I was supposed to go. Is it this bridge, maybe? Ah, oh, I was trying to parry that guy. Certainly has a spiral staircase. Oh, hey, I can go this way as well, apparently. Good to know. As the skeleton just falls off the cliff. <laughs> it's treason then. Blacksmith head. I don't even know what that lever did, honestly. All right, take two. Yeah, you just walk off. <laughs> you don't have to roll or anything. I do want to rate this message though, so it stays there and people will see it. No! At least I didn't die. <laughs> guy's voice sounding like that. Oh, I'm so glad there's a bonfire here though. <laughs> Five extra damage there. Pretty good. I'll go with endurance though. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a welcome addition for sure. What's that then? Need some smithing? Then produce me some wares. Sounds weird. I can make a fire version of my weapons here. Oh, I never bought those homeward bones. I'll buy them here. So shards for 800 still. Some arrows. Hmm. If that be all, then be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Guy sounds weird. Did I? Yeah, I got a couple weapons I could shove in the bottomless box. Drake sword. I don't really need the Drake sword out anymore. Man serpent. I'm gonna keep. Probably I could put away the Zway. It's not really that much of a strength weapon. Uh, painting guardian sword is definitely not a strength weapon. Hand axe, battle axe, butchers. Throw that one. Okay, club. My foot is like tapping at the bonfire. I put away the war pick because the pickaxe is the same thing, but it's a strength weapon. Put the lucerne away. I don't think the lucerne is a quality weapon at best. Gargoyle's bird and giant's bird are both quality weapons at best. That's definitely a dex weapon. <laughs> I forgot I have the dragon slayer bow. I'm never gonna have enough dex to wield it though. I wish you could lock on with the sniper crossbow. That'd be so cool. I forgot I had a giant shield. Alright. We seem to be made it to the bottom. Oh dear god. <laughs> Did you see that wheel just blast across the map? Oh, this place has so many twists and turns and paths that you can only get to if you go a certain direction. Man, I don't remember there being so many of these guys. Definitely using a shield helps. Yeah. Exploding head. Where is this? Haven't been here yet. Oh, there's another necromancer. Ah! No! <laughs> oh god, I can't see. As far as I know, you can't parry the Black Knight axe, can you? Oh, I got the axe, wow. And that's... Sort of a deck strength weapon, isn't it? Yeah, you need 18 decks. I only have 10. Oh, 
Oh, got the lantern. Nice. I'm gonna put that bad boy in my offhand. Don't have to worry about the serpent anymore. Doesn't really do all that much, does it? This head is not much of a shield. Oh, the lock on. <laughs> wow, I got a backstab? Backstabs are way too easy to do in this game. Hey, humble man, red cyclonic, little hippo full, game rave, fan Yoshi, Andre. I got a bunch of builds planned out, so I don't know if I'll be able to try yours out. But eventually I might get to it. We will see. Yeah, where did I put that phone? I forgot to put that on vibrate. There we go. I was trying to read the message. <laughs> Be wary of trap. That's actually not a hole, but it looks like a hole already. <laughs> Even though there's still bricks there. Large soul of a nameless soldier. It still feels like I missed something. Just because of the nature of this area being so convoluted. So many different weird paths. Oh, geez, a Titanite demon. Uh, we can take him out with the club. Do these guys get tougher with each one you kill? Or is this one just stronger than I expected it? Oof. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so close. And we got a catch pole and a demon titanite. In my Anne Orlando video, I actually got a catch pole, but I redid it so I lost the catch pole. So it's nice to get the catch pole back, even though I'm not going to use the catch pole. One of these coffins you can sit in to get the Grave Lord sword. Which I don't really need, but... Why is there a pillar in this one? <laughs> Might as well get it, just for the heck of it. Is this where I came in? It certainly appears that way. I only have one Estus. See where that is. All right, now I'm gonna hop in that coffin. Now that I know where I am, nestle, <laughs> nestle in coffin. Anyway. 
anyways. I thought this would work as long as you had a eye in your coffin. <laughs> An eye in your inventory. Is that not the case? Oh no it is. It just takes a while. Taking a nap in a coffin. Who does close the coffin? Interesting point. It could very well be Skelloboy. <laughs> Can you see my feet? This armor does look pretty dang good, I gotta say. Give me your sword for nothing. Okay, thanks, bye. That coffin looks kind of like taller than it should be. Nestle. <laughs> Do you see that ornament on my helmet going through the top of the coffin? Too tall for that thing. It's not long enough and it is too tall. Must have been built for someone with a beer belly. Gravelord sword. Oh, I don't have enough decks to wield it anyways. <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna go back the way I came in and fall down in those holes. Let's see if that leads me to some items. Gotta get my loots! It's also one of those areas where everything looks the same. So, <laughs> unless you like memorize the layout, it's gonna be tough. But I'll get there eventually. I haven't played this game in years. Alright, this hole takes me Oh, to an item! And I bet someone put a message there saying Hidden Wall Ahead Soul of a Proud Knight. This is where you're supposed to go to fight that Black Knight usually. So I believe he spawns right up there. Check where that other hole goes. Why is it called the Four Kings if there are more than four kings? They should just have four of them. And this one. Oh, same spot. Two holes, same spot. Uh, I wish I saw that before Spring Go. <laughs> so this goes to the boss. 
feel like I'm missing something though. You guys know of anything that I miss? <laughs> That'd be hilarious if the four kings were golfers. What is going on with this wheel shield? I like glitch the game out. Is there a way to get back up without using the bonfire? I don't want to have to fight all these people again. Oh my god, that wheel. Place their swords with golf clubs. Seems like this will take me over there. Go back to the pole and climb up via the ladder. Is that what I did? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pinwheel is so easy. But... I love seeing Leroy, so I'm wondering if I should just... Use my fist. And let Leroy fight him or something. Oh, why are these guys respawning? Did I miss a uh, Brave Lord Necromancer guy? Oh, friggin' Perry. <laughs> oh, I still have that lantern out. <laughs> They do indeed. Luckily the disasters do not affect us since we're on our first playthrough and they only come in on your second or higher. Let's see, I know there's an item this fall. Yeah, this is where Leroy's sign is. I think I miss a crystal lizard too. Hey, the mace! That's a strength weapon, right? The scaling scales with how many bees you have in your inventory. Deals honey damage. Got them both. Nice. Boys them good. How's it going, I don't dance? I'm pretty confident I got everything on this lower level. 
gonna buy some more homeward bones and just start warping back. God, his voice is so weird. I hope not. Use item. How's it going, cave doggomander? Got those pots out of the way. That crystal lizard feels like it was around here somewhere. But where? It's treason then. I gotta work out my emperor. We got the great scythe, we got twop. Hey. Actually now that I think about it, wasn't a crystal lizard around here? Oh hey! <laughs> Ouch. Twinkling tight night time two. It does sound like he's talking through a guitar amp. So what would you guys like me to do when I fight Pinwheel? It's gonna be super easy. So maybe I could use my unupgraded mace. And... oh. Just try to kill him with the unupgraded mace. Or I could summon Paladin Leroy, the coolest guy of all time. And use my fist. <laughs> you didn't get away this time, lizard. So many of those things in this hallway. <laughs> Leroy and fists. Seems to be the most popular option, so looks like that's what we're gonna do. Leroy and fists. Pinwheel will be pissed. So embarrassed. When he dies to fists, pinwheel. Oh, you know what? There's one more thing. When I did that lever at the bottom, what did that unlock? I was hoping those heads would blow up that um skeleton guy. It was there was one right here. And wasn't there another one? Or maybe it was just the same one seen from a different side. That's probably what it was. Alright, so... We're going to go for Leroy and Fists. On the pinwheeler. Bam! I wonder if I can warp. Look at my foot. My feet. It's like bouncing. Where will the catacombs take me? Everyone thinks he's based off Leroy Jenkins. I don't know if they ever actually said he was. But he definitely has the same name. Well, actually, it's just Paladin Leroy. <laughs> Not necessarily Jenkins, but... 
You can see the similarities. I wish this... Um... Warp point was at the beginning instead of over here. I don't know... If it would be faster to go back to Firelink Shrine and then run here or to walk all the way up. Try the fire link, see what happens. I can't say for sure if it was done on purpose, but Leroy is a paladin, and Paladin Leroy is a paladin. There's definitely some similarities. And we do know Dark Souls or FromSoft likes to put references in their games. Wake up, Snake! Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, what? <laughs> this does seem like it's going to be a pretty quick route. I need to fist the skeletons, though. Strong behavioral similarities. Does Paladin Leroy also run in? I didn't really notice that. That's probably going to kill me if I go down there. <laughs> what if I get invaded and smash someone else with the Dragon King? That'd be awesome. Wonder if I can upgrade that. Oh! Oh no! Oh, it's just a skeleton. Can't get invaded. Not in form. I do not have any Shardu. Yeah, I should have bought some when I was at that. I don't remember that guy's name. Is it Vamos? The skeleton blacksmith. <laughs> hey Ricardo, glad you appreciate my content. Humanity is restored. I don't remember if the mace is better than the club or not. I think the club is actually better, it just has less durability. Bone Dray. <laughs> I like that. That dude just found out the wall was committing treason. And dove into it. I remember there being a way to just hop down straight from here. Is that it? <laughs> Took a risk, but it paid off. Leroy! And fist. Well, I'm not gonna fist the pinwheel. Not the pinwheel. The bone wheel skeletons. Where'd you come from, regular skeleton? Leroy! How did that miss? I got your back, Leroy. Actually, while I'm here... Ouch, 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 ouch! <laughs> it's 
see if we can't get a bone wheel shield. There's gotta be a couple more of these guys around here. I wonder if Paladin Leroy also gets an increased drop when he kills something. Like, if it everything just goes by my drop rate. And I can also buy some shards. Nice. What's that thing? <laughs> Modify. Purchase. I think you need nine? Not sure though. Looks like it is nine. And I'm gonna have to take that mace to Andre to get it plus six. But at the moment, let's see where it stands up. At plus five, well, it's better than the Morning Star. <laughs> it's better scaling than even the Demon's Great Hammers be. Okay. That's a good sign. The Man Serpent does have better scaling. And so does the Demon Great Machete. And Butcher Knife. And Demon's Great Axe. The club has an A, wow. So 136 plus 95. Hmm. Summon signs down here. I, I can't believe someone's actually... <laughs> Thinks that he gets summoned, or someone actually thinks someone else needs help with pinwheel. I don't know why it's called pinwheel, honestly. Leroy, where are you, brother? Oh, there you are. We're both fat rolling. I don't want a fat roll, though. Maybe I should fat roll. Since I'm using bare fist, I'm not going to fat roll. Yeah, <laughs> knew where he was in the right spot. Waiting for me. I always try to jump over to this ledge. But you can't do it. Oh man, you take damage? OP. <laughs> Leroy killed that guy in one hit. Wow, you kill his image in one hit? Even with a fist? Oh, two damage. Four damage. <laughs> Give me R2. <laughs> Leroy's healing over there. Oh my god. Wrath of the Gods is so much damage. Yeah, he'd be dead in like two seconds if I had a regular weapon. And oh my god, Leroy. <laughs> 
Back to him. Oh, jeez. So many copies. I don't know if I've ever seen that many copies before. I've never seen a copy dodge that many times, that's for sure. Why? Oh, that's actually Finley. They get so many iframes on their little dodgeback attack. Oh, doesn't... I will protect you while you're healing. Oh. Oh, he killed him. I was gonna switch to the lantern and see if you could hit him with the lantern. <laughs> Thank you, Leroy. Why'd they give you such a strong summon for like the easiest boss? Open wheel. What a crazy guy. <laughs> See you later, Kev. Yeah, you can pretty much just go straight there. Oh, I guess... If you want to kill Pinwheel and get back, this is the way you're supposed to take. It just seems like such a weird detour. That's why I didn't necessarily want to come here. Just because it would be so much weird walking. Yeah, that ladder does look really... Doesn't really even look like a ladder, it just looks like a wall. I probably should have a strong weapon to fight those giant Skeletors. Tomb of the Giants. Knock him down, and keep knocking him down. Hmm. I'll check that out. I'm just gonna go to the end of the bonfire, or go to the bonfire, and warp back. Because I believe that gives you a warp point, but I'm not sure. Sure. And it would be nice to just be able to warp here. Oh, that looks promising. Oh man, <laughs> that was... Oh. I don't know if I would have done that if I could see what I was doing. Blind combat. Lantern. Yeah, how are you supposed to see that ladder? That's weird. Huh. 
How do you get to this side? This is a strength build. Maybe it's over here? Certainly looks like it. Eye of death. Opposite of the eye of life. Is that just death? <laughs> uh. Maybe I'll try that out later. Um, I do have Havel's ring. So this is how you get out of the Tomb of Giants. Oh jeez. <laughs> If you don't want to be there. Okay, then I'm glad I did not go down. <laughs> no. Of course, the backstab. Didn't do that much damage, at least. I was not trying to do the plunging attack there. Ah. I also want to switch weapons. Where is it? Why are you one handing it? <laughs> Stop! You gotta be kidding me. Dang it, man. Uh. I'm all the way back here. Of course. Well, I'm gonna run... Jump down all those stages again. Go grab my humanity and my souls. I really don't think you should be able to get invaded if you haven't even got to the bonfire yet. It just seems cheap. Can't get a bone wheel shield. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, everyone just wheel past me, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna stand still and let them come to me because they just keep whizzing past. <laughs> yeah, that works a lot better. Still no bone wheel. That's a really rare drop to use bone wheel shield. <laughs> I 
I think I would have killed him though if I was able to two hand that. I didn't really have to do too much. I'm pretty much back where I was. So it's not that big of a deal. to find my souls. I just didn't want to have to do this all over again. I still don't honestly, but we don't have much choice in the matter. side item. Oh man. Let's see <laughs> if that helped. I thought maybe if I loaded it would put me back on the ledge where I was supposed to be. And then I fell. No, it put me here. <laughs> Dang it. Well, there's patches. Do not want to be here. I just want to get those couple items. Uh, the worst part of this game is when you just want to do something simple. And then it ends up taking half an hour because you get invaded, and then you slide off a cliff. Like, those are the only times this game aggravates me. I guess since I'm at a bonfire, I might as well level up. I guess I do have Vamos. Vamos is bonfire, but that might be harder the way I'm positioned with the pinwheel skeletons. I'll try it though. Give me another chance to get the bone wheel shield. Stupid skeleton. <laughs> Catacombs. Oh yeah, I guess I could walk back up from there. There's only two skeletons in the way, so it shouldn't take too long. Good point, guys. No, no. <laughs> and the triple synchronized death, <laughs> followed by the bouncing wheel. There's 
looking at the chat for a second. I didn't realize he was right next to me. Come on, club. Yes. But no drop. Sadly. That drop is so rare, man. Yeah, I haven't really done Bloodborne PvP very much at all since Dark Souls 3 came out. I did a few matches like last month. But I don't play it very regularly. I do like Dark Souls 3 PvP better than uh, Bloodborne's. <laughs> that skeleton lantern does not give you very much block. Why is his pelvis spinning out of control? Alright, we got everything at this point. Did we get something over here? No, this is where I <laughs> slid off. Jeez. Large soul of a proud knight. And they have those giant arrows. Ouch. Why that kick missed? I'll take it. One, two, three. He's got hip problems now. That way takes you to the bonfire, I believe. And I don't know if there's another way <laughs> from there. But I know there's this item. Okay, we got this. The humanity. And now we made it to the bonfire. Which is really all I wanted to do. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Mm, this is a strength no. build, not a cleric. Really? Mm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, we're friends now. So I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. <laughs> like, they don't even try to make patches seem like he could be a good guy. You just know instantly he's a bad guy. And I believe this is a warping bonfire. I hope it is, at least. Yeah, I'm not really worried about rolling faster than medium roll with my strength build. Could help, but I'm not doing a ton of PvP or anything. Yeah, there it is. Tomb of the Giants. So when I feel like going back to fight Nito, I'll have that there. And for now, I'm gonna sign off and then the next episode we will go... Where will we go? Probably the Painted World. And we'll use the Butcher Knife. So this is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you shortly.